Okay guys, so today we're gonna do the thing that I said that I was gonna try to do. There's a rainbow guppy hiding by the camera. She's got some editing to do, so it's all perfectly fine. So today we've got a very, very simple thing to make. And um, I, d I have just now figured out, thought of a second thing that we could, uh, or I guess a, a third, fourth thing to add onto the list of how easy it is to make. And quite frankly, this already has a five because it's super simple. You put barbecue sauce maybe with a little bit of water, some pineapple if you want, which we have in this, and just put uh, the little uh, weenies in. So I will uh, take a picture of this to put up in the uh, top screen above Hope's head. It is It looks appetizing. It looks good. There's no way to make this look bad on all honesty unless you're just not a big fan of pineapples. But we're not going based off of what I do or don't like because, quite frankly, there's several vegetables I don't like. So I can't judge something off of that. So, already it has a five off of how easy it is to make. And I mean cooking something, not just simply pulling it out of the fridge and start eating it. <laughs> Um, let's see. Second of all would be how filling it is. And I guess it really depends on how many people you're feeding. In our case, we're feeding three people with a pack of, uh, little, uh, sausage weenie things. What are the proper names for these? <laughs> uh, normally they'd be with, uh, little smokies. Little smokies. There we go. Little smokies. These ones are the all beef. And we got a large packet, which costed us just a little under five dollars. So I'm gonna go with probably I'm gonna say it's a three or four off of fillings worth for three people. I I think that's pretty good. But we'll go off of after I eat it, and I'll place that at the end of the video. Um, as for taste, well, let's try. It's very good. It actually, it makes me think of a hot dog, but it also makes me think of beef. We had to go with beef because Rainbow Guppy's religion allows, doesn't allow her to have pork, which is all perfectly fine and dandy. Uh, so we just have to respect that. That's as simple as it is. It's nothing against me, her, and it's just being very respect, respectful. <laughs> um, Taste-wise, I would give it a four because it is very good but I think something that is a five, would be a top five would be one of those things that you could literally constantly eat without getting tired of and that that is what a number five rating would be no offense to my lovely fiance Mrs. Giga's cooking she did just fine on this it's absolutely amazing but it makes me think of like but it's no fried chicken <laughs> but it's no fried chicken yes I don't know, I'm addicted to fried chicken and fried oysters. Fried stuff in general, yep, there you go. Except for, uh, except for, uh, mushrooms. But I'll try anything at least once, mm. as long as I'm feeling up to it. But anyways, uh, so, so far, uh, looks, it, we'll go with a three, because it's not like it looks beautiful, it's just a bunch of, uh, little Smokies and Pineapple there. So, there you go. That's how it goes. And then... So, taste is a... Ugh, taste is a four. Looks is a... Uh, three. Three. And feeling-wise... Well, let's take another bite. I got two here. I think we'll go ahead and put it feeling at four because me personally, it's just hard to fill me up because I'm a large guy. I eat more than others. I'm going to go off of regular standards and taking the fact that it only costed five dollars to buy this and we didn't even have to add the pineapple. We just had pineapple laying around and we used it. So five dollars for it and then the barbecue sauce was like three bucks. So eight bucks in total. It's feeding three people, and it'd probably mostly satisfy all of us. So, 
I would definitely give it a four at least. Let's see, that, that goes through three topics. Did I actually have a fourth, or did I leave something out? No, he went through all four topics. That was fine. Taste, looks, feeling, and, uh, taste, looks, feeling. What was the fourth that I came up with? <laughs> I'm a horrible at this stuff, I swear. I don't know, it's on your video, though. Yeah. But anyways, I'll, I'm sure I'll remember it and look at this video. I'll figure it out and I'll put a rating on there th that time. But here we go. Little barbecued smoke, uh, barbecue, little smokies barbecued with pineapple. Tastes really good. It's filling and well, it does look appetizing. Some people may not see, see it, but it just makes me, me think of barbecued hot dogs. But tastes like you're having like little beef bits that have been dipped in uh, barbecue sauce, but just a lot more easier to chew. Quite personally, so that would be that's uh, be today's video. I hope you all have a wonderful geek day, and don't forget to check out Rainbow Guppy's latest video. And make sure if you liked seeing her make the Pokemon, if you want to buy Pokemon. Go like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification button so that we can see future videos of her making Pokemon. She's going to go through every single Pokemon out there, even newer ones that are coming out, including Mega Evolutions. So I would suggest watching them uh, if you have the time, or if you don't have the time and you just want to see how it's made. And she also sells them on Etsy. Etsy. She sells them on Etsy. Do you have anywhere else she sells them on? That's it. Just Etsy. She just sells them on Etsy. And recently she also taught me how to make my own little artwork keychain things that I'm going to start making and selling. I guess on Etsy too or eBay or something. And we'll get that figured out for further details. So again, once guys, once again guys, God, words today. Uh, have a wonderful day and I hope you all enjoyed this meal if you decide to try it yourself.